Syracuse. I, I'll go ahead and say it. I'm under six and a half. I, it was not a question for me. The more I started looking at this, the more I'm like, what? Like, there's not a guarantee this team makes a bowl game at all. Is no. that what you were seeing when you were looking at that? Yeah. I To be honest, last year, it kind of felt like, yes, they, they fell apart hard at the end of the Robert year. Robert and I. Five straight. But they also, um, I, yeah, they, they battle injuries, whatever. But I, I still think they outperformed expectations and they won seven games. This year, the schedule is not, it's not very hard, especially out of conference. They got to go to Purdue now, which, you know, it's, is this Purdue team better than last year? Probably not. But the Syracuse team, sure as heck not better. I mean, it was Sean Tucker, um, lost some transfers. Steve Linton on the defensive line is a, a baller for Texas Tech. I know J- Jay's gear at South Carolina has huge early returns. Deuce Chestnut. Wait, yeah. Going to LSU. Uh, Jihad Carter got another defensive back going at Ohio might, State. I mean, might be a starter there at nickel. I don't know. I mean, it, the, the D line, they got a small nose tacker who's a former fullback and a walk on. They got no depth anywhere. Rocky Long, sure, we'll see that. Whatever. They got a new, new defensive coordinator. Uh, typically, you know, 335 guy, but I, I just, I think their O line and D line are just kind of big question marks. Matthew Bergeron was a stud. Dakota Fine. Davis, good player. I, I Garrett Schrader, sure, he'll be healthy, you know, hopefully, but no Sean Tucker, like I said. Uh, they got some fine receivers. Isaiah Jones is, you know, maybe be more consistent. Battle back from injury. Uh, Gatson, they like a lot. He kind of plays tight end, but also plays. Yeah, receiver. and no one actually knows what position he plays, but he's a stud. He is a stud. That's oh, yeah. guy. First team All ACC. Uh, a tight end and wide receiver hybrid, but Schrader needs more than just that. And so I, I just, I don't see it with this team. There's no way they're getting seven wins, and so I'm hitting the under, for sure. Yeah, and like, it's hard to plug in. Look, you get Joe Mora from Richmond. I don't know. Is he that? I, I don't. I have never gotten eyes on him, but he's from Richmond, right? So that that's still going to be an adjustment. David Wallbaugh from Kentucky. That's another transfer that they got. Um, his dad played for Syracuse. That's why he came here. But I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think Kentucky was just screaming when they lost him. Uh, I think running back, I think Sean Tucker is actually not a loss. I, I don't think it's a loss at all. In fact, they didn't run the ball all that well last year in general. Um, I think LaQuinn Allen is a very good football player. Thankfully, like his Chargers, his legal issues that had happened this offseason. Yeah. He got, in, got in a bar fights where he was defending himself. Um he had gotten charged with assaults, but that had all been dropped. So he, he there likely no suspension for him, which is big for fantasy college fantasy football players too, because ADP is like really, 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 really low. So that's super value there. Um, but uh, yeah, I just I just don't see it. I, I get that they play Colgate, Western Michigan out of conference, but at Purdue, at like Purdue, yeah, sure they lost a lot of talent there. And I know you're not super high on Purdue this year, but. That's a tough game. I don't think Army's a guarantee win because um, I, I don't know that that they have the 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 people in the trenches to really ensure that that's that's a win, right? At UNC, at Florida State, at Virginia Tech, that's a stretch. You want to talk about a stretch game schedule dynamic wise? Clemson, UNC, FSU. Before that you get by Army too, you're getting beat up by yeah, Army. Yes, yeah, so you get you get demolished by Army, not demolished, but you get beat up by Army, right? <laughs> And then you go play Clemson at UNC at FSU, and then you come back from the bye ready to take on the rest of the schedule. So maybe they pull some stuff together. I think it's a serviceable defensive back room that they have, but man, I I don't know. I think that they like Jeremiah Wilson, but again, it's just all these names I'm looking at. They're just serviceable. They're just serviceable. So um, Okachukwu, I think he's pretty good on the off or defensive line uh, at end. But again, like I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of guys that I really, really like on this team. And it's not a super. It it's relative to this team's talent. It's a tough schedule, is what I should say. Um, this is not a tough schedule by Power Five standards at all. But th- this is. I don't know. I guess they're giving them the benefit of the doubt of the. Like Georgia Tech, maybe they don't think Georgia Tech's gonna be that good. Boston College, I guess. Like they they drew some of the quote unquote easier teams in the ACC, but come on, I don't know, I don't know. I 
Any last thoughts in Syracuse? Don't overthink it. Take the under. That's what I'm doing. 